Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'll show you how you can label certain areas of your scene. Um, by label certain areas of your scene, I mean like, when you walk into an area, for example, this is a forest, and you want the name of the like forest to appear or pop up on the screen. I've been playing like South Park, this, uh, the, the new one, the Fracture But Whole. And, uh, like, I've noticed that when you click on the map, it says where, um, you're located, the name of the street or which house you are at, or whatever, when you're near it. So, I made that effect in Unity. So, basically, when you're in this forest, it's gonna pop up and say Riverdale Forest, because it's called that way. When you exit the forest, for example, we exited right now, and when you enter this little Riverdale village, Riverdale pops up. I cannot say Riverdale for some reason. When you exit that trigger, it disappears as well, and you can go back to the forest if you want. Um, pretty simple to do thing. Do not worry, the quest functionality video is coming soon. Just wanted to make this because I figured it was pretty easy and simple and quick to make until uh, I have more time to create the quest functionality one. So basically, it's a really simple concept. Let me show you the quest, the script real quick. So here, uh, we have a public string which is a territory name, which is the thing that's going to appear instead of the text element. Because we're using the uh, GUI or the new UI system, over here as you can see canvas, and we have the territory UI, um, we are using the Unity Engine.UI, so you have to make sure that this is over here. Public string territory name, explain that. Game object territory UI, um, this is just a reference to the um, territory UI object that we have which is a text game object, and it's gonna basically display the um, name of the this string over here, or the name of the territory. So at the beginning, because we're not anywhere, we wanna uh, make the territory UI set active to false. We do not wanna be able to see it. And on trigger enter collider player, if player.gameObject tag is player, so if the thing that collided with the trigger is tagged player, so you have to make sure that your player is tagged player. So get your third person controller and tag it player. If you've been following the series, you probably have all this done already. So just skip ahead. Or well, don't skip ahead, but just do not do the step. Um, now, so if uh, the thing that collided is tagged player, we're going to want to set the UI, the territory UI to true. And we also want to get want to going to want to get the component of the territory UI game object. We're going to want to get the text component of it because it indeed is a um, text UI game object and it has a text component on it. We're going to want to get that component and then get its text box over here in the text component. So this is the little text thing that's highlighted over here, and we're going to want to change that to the string that we have set over here. Uh, we set it in the inspector. So when you exit uh, the trigger, collider player, it checks if the thing that exited the trigger is also tagged player. Then we set the UI, the territory UI, to false. Pretty simple script. How you do it is basically you go to game object, UI, create text, call it territory UI. You can have it tagged territory. I did this because I wanted to make a like a different system but this one works that I'm using right now so you do not need to have a tag territory for it to work. So basically have the text go to 2D F center it wherever you want. Uh, you do not have to type anything just call it territory UI. I just delete it uh, because we're using this one and go ahead and also create two big spheres. Let me show you. So you need to create two or multiple spheres that are going to be the territories. And basically for every territory that you want um, to change the name or the name of that uh, area to be displayed, you just add the territory script, set the territory name over here, and, and, and um, put, drag the territory UI over here. So I'll just make one so you see that it works and that I'm not lying to you. Um... I'll set it. I'll set it over here, I guess. So I'll go to game object and move to view, or actually I'll align it with the view. And now, oops, sorry. In in each of these videos, I get a message. It's pretty unprofessional. So sorry. <laughs> um, I'll make this a big sphere. Um, I'll put it over here, I guess. Yeah, this is okay. 
I'll take the mesh render off and I'll make sure to click on the sphere collider and take its trigger. And I'll call it, um, what's this called? Uh, sphere, and I'll, I'll just put the sphere name over here. So I'll go to add component, territory, and the territory name will be sphere. Pretty dope name, right? And for territory UI, I'll just drag this over here. And now let's see if it works. Probably should. Would be pretty sad if it did not work, but it's gonna work. Trust me. So we enter the territory and it changed the text to sphere. So now what this does is, let me just show you in scene if you wanna inspect it a bit a little better. But basically it changes this text component as I said in the script. Pretty simple, pretty quick and easy to do. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and I'll see you in future videos. Another thing I wanna say before I end the video is I still have the PayPal donation thing up. So if you guys want to donate, support me, and uh, basically keep this channel alive, um, you can do that. I'll greatly appreciate it. Also, if you donate, at the end, when uh, this um, project is finished, you're going to get the whole complete project and everything first. You're not going to like have to wait or anything, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, happy Halloween. Might be late on this, might be early, I don't know, but happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed it or will enjoy it. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.